Unfortunately, let's get common relic. Oh, Ori Calcum works with Frost. It's perfect. I think Reprieve is very interesting, though. I think that wasn't a fair assessment of the Reprieve. I think Bias Cognition ended up fucking me. It wasn't worth it. Ah, uh, because, if, dude, if I knew I was going to get Sneko Eye, Echo Form was amazing. Echo Form was, like, god tier. But I didn't know I was going to get Sneko Eye. Hey, what's up, Light Shaw? How you doing? How you doing, Vexel? It's okay. It happens, guys. It happens. Echo Form was probably the better play, and maybe Bias Cognition wasn't worth it in Elite Fights. But yeah, the new dual cast is insane. Like, that upgrade is insane. Beam Cell Turbo Stack. Uh, I think Beam Cell just works a lot better early game. Look at that. Look at look at strong dual cast is there. Dual cast is makes it guaranteed lethal. I think scrape is really nice. Scrape makes FTO and go for the eyes even better. But now we're going to have very attack heavy. But you know what? We're going for it. Scrape also makes stack a little bit better too. So we have good offense. I would say now we need like... We have Ori Calcum though a little bit. Kind of balance out. But now dual cast becomes free and so does Zap. So it makes Scrape even better. Yeah, bias cognition was bad. Cognitive bias was bad, yes. It was bad. It was bad. In retrospect, it was bad. It was bad. I agree. Especially with Sneko Eye, right? Echo Form becomes amazing with Sneko Eye. Damn. I think even despite that, I know I keep talking about it, I think even despite that, if I went for lethal, I could have killed him. Conserve battery darkness. I think darkness is fantastic, guys. Like, upgraded darkness for me, like, two darkness is so much value, it's insane. Although, we probably want to make more scrape value. So, what we're going to do is upgrade darkness, and then we're going to upgrade the stuff that makes scrape better. Well, this sucks. Hey! Thank you for Veteran Muse. It's not good in this fight, actually. Well, we get... I actually get less damage with dual cast by doing that. But I'll do it anyways, just so I can get damage. Because I'm one off lethal, basically. I think Sunder is interesting. Sunder, to me, would farm... Act 1 and helps in Act 2, but I, again, I'm just a big fan of Cool-Headed. The card draw and the Frost works with Ori Calcum. Impulse works with uh, Darkness really well though, right? So Impulse makes it so that your Darkness gets channeled. So Impulse and Darkness is fantastic. It's also, if you get Plasma, this is a free card. But do I want Sunder just to get that? Because Sunder is like, probably really nutty right now. I think it starts to fall off a little bit. Hey, what's up, Ulti Cool? New fan from YouTube. Hey, welcome from YouTube, and hope you enjoy the stream. No, oh, that's all right, professional. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much, man. The support means a lot. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, so impulse again, and dark. Since we do have darkness going, maybe this would be really good. And if since we are gonna try messing around with reprieve, this becomes even better. Although cool headed, you probably want one of this just to get the frost and the card draw. It makes my zero cost cards a little bit better as well. Alright, so we want to upgrade the things that cost zero, right? So dual cast becomes zero, which becomes great with darkness. See, I think it's even better than zap because dual cast for free on dark orbs is insane. Which makes impulse probably a little bit better as well. Also, here we can just go for like... Darkness orbs and just wait. Oh, impulse would have been great in this fight. But Kuhut is not bad either because I can get, um... Rid of the lightning. Do I want to dual cast one of them now? So if I dual cast one of them now, I'm doing 24. I probably can wait. He's getting proc'd anyways, right? Yeah, we can wait. Hmm. 
Well, I don't mind getting more Frost Orbs because we get uh, Orichalcum. Oh, more Darkness? Uh, no, I won't do that. Just because... Nah, I'm not doing that. It gets rid of my Frost and then it makes Orichalcum worse. Alright, so we'll dual cast this bad boy and that should be lethal. Just like that. Dark Orbs are insane, guys. Buffer Force with Turbo. Uh, I, I like Turbo with Scrape. So if you use Turbo with Scrape, you can kind of make Scrape become an, uh, an energy gain. If it won't be amazing, there's no worries, man. You can still give your input. It won't be an energy gain, but for the time being, let's say you use Scrape, then say you pick up a Turbo, and then you can also use Scrape as a way to like, in last... In certain, certain situations, you can use Scrape to get more energy with Turbo and play more cards. Uh, Buffer's really good for the first hit of uh, the Guardian, and it starts getting better if you get things like... I don't know, Echo Form... Things you want to set up like Creative AI, so you just have a, a buffer and you can set up things. Which could be good with my Dark Orbs, because Dark Orbs, they want to just buy time so that Darkness can kick their ass. Oh, I, I, had to, I had to find a way for, so you can't downgrade it. I had to find a way to make it um, downgraded diamond. So it's only one option. That kind of sucks. I'm sorry about that, man. Force field, okay. It could become a free block if we have powers. And right now we don't have any powers. But turbo makes sense with the scrape. But what would I be using the energy on, right? You would need more card roll. So I think buffer makes the most sense. And it helps against Gremlin Knob. Ooh, let's transform. Go for the eyes. Okay. I see Scrape is back because I already have my Zerk, but I could potentially draw into Beam Cell, right? Dual Cast is doing work here too. Man, dual cast is insane. I think we have lethal. Pretty sure we have lethal here. Our damage is good. Ball, lightning, sweeping beam, heat sink. Um, never play a power. Draw two cards. Heat sinks become big. Could become a good source of card draw if you have that if you need that and you have power. It's not good right now. Well, that needs more channeling, which is not bad, but it's another attack. I don't think we want it. I'm gonna skip. Chief Meme would have been good here, so would Sunder. So dual cast is great here. We already discovered that, right? Oh, GG. Dual cast for zero is insane. So our deck is super strong right now. Uh, deck sturdy pot might be useful for the guardian. Ooh, we got echo form. Whoa, we can do defrag or echo form. Okay. So I love defragment, and it makes sense with darkness, but echo form could be good for. I could double up the buffer. I could double up darkness, but it's not that good. You'd rather do like maybe double dual cast. Double dual cast could be insane. Like Echo Form is actually not that strong here. I would say maybe Defragment is even better. Because Defragment you can play for one and the focus is already doing good stuff for us. And then Echo Form, I mean, it's amazing. And we have Buffer kind of set it up, but Echo Form requires an upgrade. I and mean, I would say Defrag requires an upgrade too, but it's still useful without the upgrade. So is this, but kind of expensive. Hmm. And I don't like the fact that we, we can't really echo form darkness. It won't, doesn't work that well. But we could echo form dual cast. And as we get more cards, echo form becomes better. We could also do echo form scrape. Huh. Pow. Let's go echo form. Although I think defrag is probably a better choice. You think they're going to nerf... Um, 
I could form a reprieve. If I can get reprieve, right, that'd be insane. You think they're going to nerf the dual cast? Yeah, it makes multicast a little bit worse, right? It's zero cost for... Yeah, I think dual cast works with all for one now and with... It's pretty nutty. Ah, uh, see, I just... I shouldn't have drawn, right? I shouldn't have drawn. Well, Echo Form, there goes Echo Form. That could have been a defrag. It's okay. It happens. See, zapping is bad because I take one damage. Whereas if I... If I don't zap, I don't take one damage. But then I won't be able to get like the passive, which might be nice. Let's just not zap. I can weak I can't weaken him. Alright, so we take one damage and then we kill darkness here. Oh, that's a great turn. Hey, Ravenous, welcome. How you doing, man? What's up, Dragon Crow? Just here to say spy. I'm mean, just here to say fires. Order. Uh, so we'll do a cast here. And now we see we see the channel anything like another darkness will kill him. Easy, easy. Birdface urn. Okay, so it makes powers a little bit better. Uh, Glacier is fantastic because it's glacier. Channels two and gives me two frost, and I think it's really good in this fight. Claw could be really interesting as well. It also makes Echo Form a little bit better. It makes Scrape a little bit better. So we have Scrape for Claw, and if we want to go for damage with Claw, we have the Scrape to kind of get that scaling going. Or we can say, you know what? I'd rather have more consistent defense. So I'll take the Glacier. Okay, so Zap becomes better as an upgrade if you um with Scrape. But the thing is, Zap kind of procs your Dark. Prematurely. Maybe we should just upgrade Echo Farm so we're not feeling inclined to play it, right? So buffer is good. Well, let's. So buffer prevents this next attack, which is perfect. So that allows me to play Echo Farm next turn potentially, right? And that, I could do Glacier to get more frost, but I like having this. So if I do draw into Echo Farm, well, now it now it doesn't matter, but. Okay. But the potential was there. So we still have another turn to play Echo Form, which I probably want to get down. There we go. Perfect. So I will, I'll, I'll take the debuff here. That's fine. Double Darkness. <laughs> we go for Double Weaken, which we'd be good, because keeping this guy weakened for a long time is really nice. But Double Darkness is doing a lot of damage. Double Darkness. Okay, cool. What's up, TMK? Welcome. Dual cast being one makes it look a lot easier to get through the first few. Yes, Paskey. Dual cast makes it more than easy. It makes it like insane. Mm, so we need to get the weakened. So we're, we're gonna have to get rid of the dark here. Whoops! I forgot about. We just pass, right? I forgot about Echo Form for a sec. Oh, double Glacier. Okay. So I'm getting rid of my Dark, unfortunately. I could just double defend and keep the Dark. Because if I double defend and then defend, I have 19. I take no damage. And then what I could do is keep the Dark to proc him next turn, potentially. Hey, thanks for the follow, Asian. So we can do double strike or double beam cell. Or we can do double glacier. Well, we're gonna proc the dark anyways, right? So just do double beam cell. Do we wanna proc the dark? Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, there was a dual cast. Come on, are you kidding me?
That sucks. That sucks. What do you rate this name, Jeremiah? Uh, R4 Avenus? What did I rate your name? I rate it 4. I'm doing pretty good Asian Gold. Asian God, right? Asian God Kim. I'm doing pretty good. I, I don't want to play 2 Darkness. I just want to play 1. We're doing good. We're doing good in this fight. Double defense. Go for the eyes. Let's do another one. So I, I'll take damage here. Actually, I can make it so that I take one damage, but then I get Orichalcum anyways. I'll take two damage. I end up taking more damage in the long run. It's okay, whatever. Double weaken. Yeah, sure. Oh, I keep forgetting. Jesus Christ, <laughs> the reflect. So now we gotta do this. We can dual cast now. I think it's a good time to dual cast because we have another one coming up. Huh. Double darkness is doing 24. 6, doing 30. Doing 30 and then restacking my darks. Oh, then we could do Glacier. Ooh, I couldn't do Glacier. I could have done Glacier, actually. Glacier would have been another 12 damage. I missed it. But this sets up lethal. This is fine. Well, I'm taking a little bit more damage than I wanted to. Alright, GG. I think I took a lot more damage than I need to, but I think the deck's pretty good right now. Bias, Cognition, Meteor Striker, Rainbow. Rainbow can be played twice. Rainbow is just nice to cycle your orbs. This would have been better if I had Defrag. If I had Defrag, Rainbow is fantastic, because having focus on all this would be amazing. I want to bet that replaces every single card in my deck with Glacier. <laughs> oh, it's Jax. Oh, I didn't... Shit, I didn't realize you had... I didn't realize you had the mod. What's up, Jax? Oh, sh I totally missed it, dude. I totally missed it. What did I think of this name? I like the name. I like it, man. So, Meteor Strike is interesting. Where'd you get the inspiration for Ravenous? Oh, I didn't even read your chat. Let me read the chat here. Interpart of Tensor Leaf Firecraft, but she's my new. I see most people know me as Rave or Raven or Mass, so I decided to go with a simpler name, and Jax was always a meme. Ah, so why do they know you as Rave? I'm not even reading my chat, my bad, dude. Got it, got it, I see, I see. So Meteor Strike, if Sneko is okay, and the Plasma becomes interesting, like Echo Form, Meteor Strike becomes insane. And the Plasma becomes interesting if, um, if I can get the card draw to supplement it. We already saw that Bicycle Edition is very interesting with Dark, and I do like it with Dark a lot, but I think I used it, in, in, I used it wrong. But with uh, Echo Form, Bias Cognition becomes crazy. Hmm, so we can go for Philosopher's Stone or Astrolab. So Inserter gives us orb slots every two turns, which gives us more space for Frost Orbs and Dark Orbs, which in turn will be like Mixing Glacier and Cool Headed have more space, and which in turn with Bias Cognition gives us more passive defense, which could be really good for Orichalcum. So if I can do Bias Cognition and have orb slots, maybe we're doing good Frost stuff. Astrolab gets rid of three strikes and potentially gives me decent powers, decent cards, and like having three energy is not a big deal because this guy can handle not only does he have cheap decks like with zero cost cards that I already have and scrape, but he can get things like plasma and fusion to kind of mitigate some of the three energy problems. So Astrolab might be a play. I'm scared about Philosopher's Stone because I guess I get one energy per turn, but I don't really think I have the mitigation. Well, birds will mess me up, right? But we have enough attacks to kind of knock down the birds. Hmm. No streamer? <laughs> okay. And the second name I main is Ravenous Gringo, and Mask is my Steam. 
The new focus is nuts. Yeah, so there's a focus card that now you can take away your orb slots to give you two focus. Or no, two to three focus. So if I get that card, then the surge is insane. And then having more focus is just insane because I makes my frost orbs defend like crazy. I think we do Astrolab. Astrolab or Philosopher's Stone. Well, like I said, the, the orb slots will be nice because I will have bias cognition to make my frost orbs do some good defense. You may even get a reprieve. You never know. Astrolab could be good, though. It's just so random, so I'm going to go for the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, it consumes that new card, right? So I, I haven't uh, seen the new card yet. So I'll say the biggest fight we want to avoid is the birds, but... We probably don't want to do an elite. Let's see the path. We could avoid elites and be super passive and do no elites, three rest, or we can go do an early elite and try our best. If not, we could always avoid the elite. If we feel like we really can't handle it. So let's go. This is a bad fight as well. So buffer's not bad. Stop one of their attacks. I should probably use darkness, honestly. If I use darkness in this fight, I'm scaling. But these guys are very quick. Mmm. Sucks. Yeah, that's a rough fight. So I could defend for four, or I could do more damage and potentially... So I could defend for four, uh, I'll do more damage. This is one of those fights that makes um, the stone pretty bad. And this guy's attacking like crazy, huh? Jesus. I should have done Bias Cognition first. Alright, well this guy's kicking my ass. This guy's kicking my ass. I should do Bias Cognition now, there's no reason not to. I should have done that first, that was a big mistake. We need like me in the bone or something. We do have Bird Face Earn to sustain though. Streamline, skim, cold snap. Uh, streamline would be go with scrape, and I can get value out of that. But we have a lot of attacks, so cold snap gives us more frost. But streamline would be good for the scrape. And maybe we can win with just like that. But maybe we just do skim so we can... Yeah, let's do skim. Get jaxed. I'm not going to get jaxed. Uh, this is, this is the second fight that is really bad with this. My god. I'm not getting any luck right now. I don't actually want to... I want to attack the guys that are... Damn. Okay. Damn, that's rough. Okay, so I can't knock those guys down. We get Buffer, though. Which is not good, because Buffer... These guys multi-attack. Oh, Buffer's great in this situation. Okay, buffer's good in the situation. This would be a bad fight, potentially. We do have explosive bot though. We're getting pretty lucky, I would say, with the draw right now. So bias cognition is great, because this fight's gonna be last long enough, so short enough for me to get a lot of value out of the dark orbs with bias cognition and with the lightning. So things like dual cast become insane. Galatia becomes nutty. It kills both the threats. Well, actually, what we want to draw is the one, one thing that darkness is insane. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be one. That's why I like Bias Cognition. GG. Okay, that's why I like darkness, guys. Static Discharge. Whenever you take damage, channel to lightning. Ah, uh, that gives me healing with Burface Run. It's also already upgraded. Channeling 2 Lightning. Hmm. Or Capacitor. Get more Orb Slots. I actually don't like Orb Slots. When it comes to Darkness, because I like being able to evoke them quickly. In those situations with Bias Cognition. Like, Bias Cognition Darkness allows me to get quick scaling. And allows me to end the fight by evoking these Darkness. But Static Discharge could be interesting, I guess. 
if I had bias cognition out. Makes me lose control of my dark though, right? It gives me less control. Who programmed it? The guy named is Bill the Unjust. So everybody, if you see Bill the Unjust, shout out to him. Capacitor is another power, which gives me bird face urn and gives me orb slots, but yeah, I don't really like orb slots. And then we have Cold Snap, which gives us more control of the darkness if we need to proc it. And gives us more frost if we end up getting more focus. But it's also another attack. But it's also frost for the Orichalcum. We'll take it. Uh, do we want it? I got Singing Bowl, that's worth. Not really. Got Duvu Doll, whoa. That's not really good in this guy. You don't really want strength. This is a very good shop. This is a very interesting shop. So, with a Duvu Doll, Barrage comes better, but I'm gonna be right back. I gotta use the bathroom. Apotheosis is probably not bad, because I might have to rest next. If I have, to, I might have to rest, and if I rest, Apotheosis makes it so that I can upgrade, and getting upgrades would be nice. Right, I'll be right back. What's up, boys and girls? So I think Pythosis makes Orichalcum worse because it's upgrading my defense. Which means I'm going to want to use defend over Orichalcum. Right now, Orichalcum and Frost are doing some good stuff for us. So I don't want to get Apotheosis. I think Data Disc is interesting. Yeah, we get more focus. Focus makes my darkness scale quicker. It also makes my cool headed a little bit better. Huh. I like focus. Multicast could be insane with darkness though, right? So we do have a lot of dark orbs. Multicast potentially could be... Pretty good, especially with Echo Form, Echo Form Multicasts. Could be like explosive damage. Because if we're going for an elite, right? So if we want to explode damage, we can get darkness and then multicast. Let's say like we multicast like a darkness that's like 30 for three or four mana. That's 120 damage. That's insane. And if we get the focus with that, then it's a perfect combo. Auto shield gives me more block. Oh, okay, we're turning an Orichalcum a lot for block. They're even good together. Yeah, they're great together, right? But then, I, then I have to keep the curse, right? So if I get the, if I want to get rid of the curse, I can't get both. But I feel like together they're really nice. I'm gonna try it out. We're gonna keep the curse, and I was gonna go for the elite. Maybe we should we could just avoid it and maybe go for another elite later on. Like maybe I don't want to take any unnecessary risks. So if I go for the elite, if it's the slavers, if we can get some darkness out and then maybe get like a dual cast or like a, uh, I think actually it's unnecessary risk to be honest. Question is, do we need to rest? Hmm. I mean, maybe we can do the slavers with next pot. No, because next pot makes Orichalcum worse. Explosive pot, maybe. We have good front loader damage a little bit with like a uh, beam cell and scrape. We can probably take out one of the targets. And once we get darkness out, one dual cast or one multicast will take care of the slavers pretty easily. And we have anchor for the first turn of slavers, which would be good. Book of stabbing might be hard actually, because book of stabbing is consistently doing stuff. We have the weaken, but we can just kind of build up darkness and try to go for a big play. Hmm. I'll go for the leap. I'm probably making a bad choice here. Oh, this see, this is a bad fight for elites, right? Oh, this is a bad elite fight, rather. I'm gonna pop all my potions just to be safe. Cause this is a bad elite fight. Because of the philosopher's stone. I would say probably, this is probably the worst one. We got Echo Form though. But we got Echo Form, so that makes a big difference. Alright, so what we can do is... Alright, so Echo Form could probably witness this. We can do Echo from Cool Headed or Echo from Bias Cognition. That's 8 Focus, right? So last time Bias Cognition was bad in this fight, but with 8 Focus, maybe it's not bad. Because that's making 11. 
block. That's 33 block plus Orikaku, and we cover it. We could also do darkness to get the darkness going, right? We could also do zap to get some more damage in. So now, the main reason for bias condition is to get the darkness going. So now we want to just chill and let darkness do its thing and try to go for lethal. We could do darkness again. No, but you, now you don't want to get rid of the darkness because now you want... So Cold Snap's not bad either because we get... But check this out guys, if we end up getting dual cast, we can do dual cast twice and kill all the ads. You can even do buffer twice. Buffer twice is fantastic. If I do Glacier now, I get rid of all the darkness and kill both the ads. But dual cast is doing the same thing, so is multicast, so this could be potentially crazy. Let's just do buffer twice, get the healing. I guess again would, would, would basically kill all the ads, right? So multicast right now is doing my next orb, uh, 45, but then it's doing tw I, I just want to try it. I don't even know. If, so, okay. It's evoking it that many times. So the first evoking is killing this guy. The next one is killing that guy. Then the next two evoking is hitting this guy. And I do it again. Oh, you see what I mean by multicast focus and darkness? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so let's get a hologram. So beam cell doesn't matter because vulnerable doesn't actually do anything for you in terms of uh So vulnerable doesn't do anything for the darkness, but you can you're probably saying do beam cell first so I can kill the ad and give it less targets. Yeah, but it was lethal anyways. Because we had two dark orbs that were forty five. Yeah, so we kill that elite. Um nice. We could do streamline or hologram. I think hologram. Or we can start getting max HP back. Hologram is good for bringing back the dual cast if we need it. I love dark decks. Oh my god, I love dark decks so much. Letter opener. Consume. Whoa, this is what we're talking about, right? So this is the new focus thing. You gain three focus, lose one orb slot. The problem is, I don't have any way to gain orb slots, but if I can get some focus... I feel like I want to try it, but I don't have orb slots, unfortunately. I guess we could always play around it, right? We can always get capacitors now. So this makes it so that I have one strong orb slot if I use this, or two strong orb slots with my darkness. Yeah, but I'm happy with what I took. I'm not gonna take consume. Oh, we got the darkness. I should probably do glacier. This glacier gives it so that I have some frost. Ah, oh, it's fine. Ooh, multicast already. 26. Nah, it's not good enough. Cold Snap gives me more... F I, I get... I cover the block of Cold Snap. But I don't want to do it just yet. Whoa, Echo Form's free? Scrape just gave me a free Echo Form. My god. My god. Mm hmm. So I don't want to do hologram because it makes my Oracle worse. So I'm actually going to get rid of one of the dark. And now we have uh, perfect block. That script is fantastic. So bias cognition twice makes it so my dark orb is insane. And I get healing. And it gives me more frosts. And then I get the weaken. So not only am I getting crazy frost of Ori Calcum, then I get a weaken, and I take no damage, and my dark is going to be insane. I love it. This deck is working beautifully. So Cold Snap evokes this and does 12 damage itself. 
It's 58. Or I could do buffer twice and just get the healing. You know what? Now he's fucked. I just gotta evoke this, right? If I evoke this, then it's, he's dead. Glacier, GG. Okay, more darkness. Uh, well, now that we have no... So, a second darkness is nice, but... We're kind of cycling into our first darkness, no problem. And now that we don't have orb slots, we probably don't want another darkness because it can kind of mess up my, my dark scaling. So, I guess the champ, what I want to do is like get the echo form out, do the bias cognition, and just try to multicast echo form on the darkness and just one shot the uh, champ. That's what my that's my goal. Hologram could be good to help me guarantee that. And so I think multicast should be upgraded, but so should the hologram. But we're gonna go for another elite, and I think multicast is gonna help with this elite. Ooh, okay, okay, get some more sustain. So I think we can handle this. So we're gonna do bias cognition right away. Let's do bias cognition right away, and do glacier. That's fine. So we have to end this fight quickly, but this is a fight you want to end quickly, anyways, because these guys they hurt. Oh my god! So multicast is not doing what I want here, and this guy's gonna get away with it, isn't he? Ah, shit! He's gonna get away with it too. If it wasn't for those pesky meddling kids, I would have gotten away for it. Okay, okay, let's do um, hologram here. Oh, spicy. So multicast here just basically gives me more block, but also procs letter opener. So it gets rid of my frost, but it also brings darkness to the front for dual casts, potentially, right? So it's actually a good play. Because now darkness is in the front for dual cast, and maybe dual cast will kill this guy, and I don't have to worry. We didn't get dual cast, but we got skim. Oh, we got echo form. That's not good. Echo form's probably better than anything else. Because I can't cold snap to get the frost, which would be good with my bias cognition. So we just take a massive hit here. Should be GG now, though, because if I get dual cast now, we're clearing the field pretty much. We could do buffer. Just to wait. I can do buffer, defend, defend, and then the first guy's not going to hit me, and the second one's not going to do anything. I can do FTO, but I don't want to draw into dual cast, right? So I'm just going to skip. So I take no damage here. And now dual cast is destroying them. Okay. So, Cold Snap wins. Okay, another Elite. No problem. Skim, Streamline, or Rip and Tear. Okay, so Skim for more card draw. I feel like it's nice because we are depending on a combo deck. Where's Undo when you need it? No, it's okay. We have Burfi Stern and we have Bloody Idol. So, we have Sustain up the ass. That sounds a little weird. We could also just do Max HP, to be honest. Do we need another skin? It could help find the things that I need to find, right? We already have one skin. I will take it though. We'll take it. Uh oh, this fight. So ideally you want darkness first. Okay, so we got bias cognition. Which could be bad because... No, it's, it's gonna be fine. This is doing 48 damage. Pretty decent. Eh. Eh. I'd rather do as much damage as I can while I have bias cognition. This is rough.
I'm gonna do buffer so I don't take damage. I don't take damage from her, right? And now I can just kill this guy, hopefully, with, um... Well, shit. Okay. Damn. This guy sucks. Alright, we're gonna take... 8 damage. That's fine. Alright, now we got Echo Farm, we should win. Holy shit. My god, we have Echo Form, so we can make some plays here, but let's see what the hell we can hologram, right? So if we hologram... Okay, there's a few things we can do. We can hologram multicast. Check this out, guys. We can hologram multicast, and we can hologram... Dual cast. So if we bring back dual cast... We get rid of the frost. We do multicast on this guy, then it does... Ah, actually, no, wait. There's, there's other things we could do. Yeah, so if I, like I said, if I hologram multicast to dual cast, here's what happens. If I do... I'm gonna do it. I think it's fine. The multicast this gives me twenty four block plus six. I can kill this guy with explosive pot and then do check this out. I can kill the chosen right here. She's dead. Easy. Another bias cognition. I had to do the explosive pop because the letter opener would kill the, the cultist and then the... Actually, it was lethal regardless because I had four. I had four. So we can do another bias cognition to get even more focus. We already have Glacier, right? Hey, what is up, uh, Aquamus? Welcome. Maybe the because it was X plus one, I didn't have to do the explosive pot. It would first hit would have killed him, and then the next three hits would have killed her. Yeah, I actually wasted explosive pot. Whatever. Rebound could be good for multicast. So if I want to go for lethal, I could do rebound and dual cast, dual cast, and then dual cast again, and that could be like a lethal. I had three energy, but it was X plus one because of multicast. Yeah, Glacier is the best card, but Glacier for me is, is kind of bad because it's proccing my... I already have one Glacier first off, right? And it's proccing my Darkness Orbs when I'm not ready. So, I'm taking another bi Bias Cognition. So, a second Bias Cognition... I think upgrading Bias Cognition makes a big sense. If I'm going for the kill... If, if my goal here is to kill him with um, Dark Orbs, upgrading these makes sense. So we want to get darkness out ASAP. This is perfect. And we... Honestly, we, we don't want to draw because if we draw Echo Form, it's going to feel bad. And that, we could always do Hologram, but... I think a Frost Orb is actually better to have than Lightning. Okay, we're fine. And when we use Bad Cognition, the Frost Orb is going to be really nice. Like, like, like this, right? So we cover the defense. We don't got to do anything. What we could do is hologram, like FTL, I suppose. No, we don't want to do anything. Well, we could skim, but if we skim, then we might lose the echo form. But we could skim for buffer here. Okay. Which is actually, actually really good because I'm getting closer to echo form now. I can, I can weaken him again. Let's actually weaken him again. Because we're not taking damage. Let's weaken him again. Alright, we're good. And I'll strike just because we do want to butter him up. Because we want to kill him with dark. So we, we don't mind buttering him up a little bit. So, multicast now is uh, doing 100 damage. No, more. 125 damage. Not good enough, right? So we're going to wait. 
But if I do multicast and dual cast, we're doing 50, we're doing 175 damage. That's 175 damage already. But we're still gonna wait. We have Echo Form coming up. We have the Darkness scaling with the Bias Cognition. We got more Bias Cognitions to scale these bad boys up, and we got a buffer, right? Ideally, I kind of want to save the Bias Cognition for the Echo Form, because then I can get even more focus. But I'm going to do it now. So we have 8 focus. These things are going to be massive. Once I get the multicast, it's insane. We have buffer, so we can do Echo Form for free here. And we can get a weaken in. I don't really want to draw, because if I draw into, like, multicast, I'm feeling pretty bad. So we, we'll just use the buffer here. And now we're going to go for lethal with multicast. I think it's lethal. That's... 62 times 5, twice. Dark Orbs are the best, boys. If you're not doing Dark Orbs, you're not doing it right. Woo! I love Bias Cognition and Dark Orbs, guys. This is like, man, this is my favorite kind of deck. I love it, man. I love it. I'm getting all hyped up now. Let's get some water for this one. Mmm. It's like a little catalyst, kind of. Another multicast just to kind of make that combo even more consistent. But same thing with Reboot, right? Because Reboot could help me get my multicast and my dual cast. It could also help me get my Echo Form. They're both good. Because Reboot could be drawn by Scrape, which helps me find what I need. And um, multicast is just another card. Another finisher in my deck for the, the Dark Orbs. So Reboot does the fishing. This does the killing. Like, Reboot's not bad. I can pull it out with Scrape, and it can help me find my Echo Form and get everything rolling. Another boss, then another set of water. Um, I don't think I need two multicasts. Ooh, so we can go for Ori, look for some, some stuff. Or we can go Shozi. Let's get energy. Now we have energy for days. So multicast becomes even stronger. I have five energy. Multicast becomes 6 if I use it on naked, and if I use it with the Echo Form, that's 12 energy. Not to mention if I get a Turbo, or I get an Ice Cream, this deck is only going to get better. We, we get a Late Shop here. Late Shop's not bad because the Late Shop could be like Ice Cream or something. Double energy would be insane. I'm gonna get the Frost Orb. Because I have Data Disc, Frost Orb actually covers this. We should probably remove the Rive at some point. So right now, Multicast is doing work too. If I can find it. Like, we can reboot right here. But reboot... Actually, let's do this. I want to use another skill twice so I can get the better opener to kill that guy. Mmm, this is bad. Because, <laughs> damn, I want to kill this guy with... I want to kill him with the letter opener, but... In order for me to use a skill, I have to use Cool Headed, which is going to proc it anyways. So I'm going to strike. Bias Cognition and... Multicast right now is doing... Actually, we want to wait, because Bias Cognition just got played. So we'll do Buffer here. And now multicast is going to be lethal. We just got to hologram it. Oh, Echo Form is great. Alright, we're GG. It's GG. Okay, I just need to find <laughs> hologram for that multicast. There it is. GG. Oh my god. Undo could be interesting. What is that? Billy plays Valley Hydra, man. Welcome. Yeah, it's, it's essentially between the city, guys. It is. It is for sure. Do we want the undo or does this not help in our deck, right? Well, it kind of makes sense of our deck because our deck is trying to scale with Dark Orbs and do these things, get Echo Form out. This could be nice. I'll take one of them. I'll do it. This could be Ice Cream, guys. This could be Ice Cream. There's the Echo Form first turn, so now we need to undo next turn. That's the dream, guys. Echo Form. Sorry, we need to undo next turn. If not, I'm just a sad, sad boy. But we potentially can have a lot of card draw with Scrape. Ah, uh, no, Skim to look for Undo. 
Oh, buffer twice, so we take no damage. Damn. So we can do skim to look for undo, or we can do buffer twice to make take no damage. Fine, buffer twice. Ah, uh, we didn't find the undo. Okay, but we got darkness bias cognition. This could be dangerous, right? But with bias cognition, we, we're gonna try to go for like a big push with the dark right now. We got multicast, so that's gonna be doing a decent amount of damage, but it's also. It's also hurting me. But I think I got to it, because I gotta kill this guy. If I don't kill that guy, I'm screwed. Well, here's the thing. If I do zap, I do zap twice. That procs darkness on this guy, and then I could do. If I do zap, I do zap twice, and then I can do multicast. So, how does multicast work? Does it do the next orb or the same orb? I should do zap first and then multicast, right? Because multicast does it on the same orb twice, right? Or is it two, it's two orbs? So that's going to be 17 times 5. It's not lethal. But it saves damage. It's the next orb. So like I said, if I do zap twice, it does 12. And then... Then it also does darkness, which brings that guy down to 15. And I could kill that guy with strike, strike, go for the eyes. And then I would have to worry about these guys. So that guarantees I kill that guy. It's two times the first orb. I would need three of these procs. Out of 10 procs, no, out of 12 procs, I would need three of them to hit him. Out of 12 procs, I would need three of them to hit him. So the, what are the odds that out of 12, 3, so that's going to be one, 1 in 4 chance that this guy dies. No, no, no. Multicast is bad because, like I said, dude, I had to get 3 of the procs to hit him out of 12. That's a 1 in 4 chance. Whereas this is a guaranteed chance to kill him. Orbs low when you try to multicast. Who are you saying... Orbs glow? Oh! It's telling me all of them. Why is it glowing all of them? Nah, it's not telling me which ones it's gonna do. It does the first two orbs? If it does the first two orbs, then that's different, right? So it's gonna do six lightning and it's gonna do six dark. That's different then. I hope you guys are right about that. Okay. Thank you. Alright. It's perfect. Uh, the mini is the most damage for me. Thank you guys. Thank you for that confirmation. GG. I should have done look for powers to get some sustain, but we got a shovel, which is... It's okay. So I love impulse, because impulse makes the, the darkness go... Scale quicker. I love it. The fact that it's upgraded. And what we, what we, we could probably dig... We're well, probably not. A shovel is not what I wanted. So we, got, we want to get letter opener here. Um, letter opener obviously kills the guy in the back. But I want to get echo form out as well. So let's skim first. Mm. Uh, I can still do echo form here. If I can... If I can find the weakening for this guy. So that guy's going to be weakened. So I... There's a chance that he's dying, right? So I'm gonna do Echo Form. I could do a cast to kind of guarantee it. There we go. We want to get a buffer out for this guy. Oh, this is rough. So we can do Cold Snap to get more Frost Orbs and also bring this guy pretty low. Or we can do Cool Headed twice to get um, Frost Orbs and also get two card draw. Because this two card draw could give me. Buffer, right? Let's do card draw. Oh, uh, that's bad. That's really bad. Because hologram's not doing anything for us. That's not, that's, my, that's not my upgraded hologram. I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. 
That's not my upgrade hologram, that's bad. Alright, we take some damage here. If we can get undo next turn, that'd be great. Oh, we can get undo. And we also want to bring back darkness, because we want to start getting the dark scaling. And then we also can do buffer, right? Okay. So we got the buffer, we got the darkness, now I'm just going to get the bias cognitions out with Equiform, and we are GG. So there's the bias cognition with the Equiform. We could also do two FTL, right? And that will... Hmm. Bias cognition. So that, dark, that makes the darkness insane. And then we want to definitely draw here. FTL again. Jeez, let's do reboot. Although dual cast could be good, that's 28 block. Okay. Uh, let's draw. Okay, so multicast right now is doing 13 times 4. Uh, we can do impulse first. Actually, here's what we could do. Since we have buffer, we can just kill this guy. Impulse. Get a little zap in. Lay low. Next time I draw into dual cast, multicast, the guy's dead. Anything that evokes right now actually kills him. Cold snap kills him. Love dark orbs. FTL again. You found Scrape? Snicko Eye Synergy today? Nice, Glev. I gotta try that, right? So I had Snicko Eye and I ruined the run even though I didn't need to. Like, I could have won if I went for lethal, but I also could have just avoided the elite and would have lived. So I didn't get the pleasure of that, but that's awesome. I gotta try that out. That and all for one. So we've got Skim, Axe, or FTO. Another FTO doesn't seem bad. Like, I don't think another FTO is bad. Our deck's getting pretty big that another FTO is probably okay. Although, maybe max HP is what I want. Uh, I don't think we're going to dig, guys. Oh, we lose Cold Snap, Skim, or Echo Form. Interesting. I've been liking the Cold Snap because it's good damage, right? And when I have Echo Form, that's doing two channeling of Frost. Or two channeling for my darkness, so that could be lethal as a finisher. Whereas we have skin, which has been really nice as well. Because we have five energy, so I think we get rid of the cold snap, unfortunately. Bandage up finesse. Blind. So I think blind's gonna be fantastic in this fight because we have scrape to draw into it, and the AoE weaken is gonna be good for the artifacts and also gonna be good to just mitigate damage. Finesse is kind of nice as well, just to get card draw. But I'll go for the blinds. We got Panache or Apotheosis. Well, Apotheosis is probably better. It's a one-time use. doesn't clog a recycle. But Echo Form could be good. No, Panache could be good to just do... Scrape things. Ah, I think we do Apotheosis, actually. But Apotheosis, again, makes Orichalcum worse. Because it makes you want to use the defense. But that not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. What is it upgrading? It's upgrading my hologram, which I don't have. It's upgrading the reboot, the skim, cool headed, the go for the eyes, the glacier. I mean, I guess it's okay to get apotheosis. But maybe panache is better. Because we can use Echo from Panache, or we can just use Panache and help kill the ads, right? With stuff and letter opener, and then use darkness on a specific target. The damage is ridiculous when you have... Yeah, so when, when I have a damage that's doing burst damage of Dark Orbs, Panache just doesn't make as much sense. Now you feel obligated to watch this channel. Hey, welcome, Vashili. So, I think Panache is better for hallway fights because it allows me to kill ads with letter opener and use darkness on the bigger targets. Apotheos doesn't seem to be doing that much for me. The best thing it's doing for me is upgrading my defense, which is giving me better, more consistent defense. That's the only thing I see is, like, that's nice. And I guess the second hologram. Fine. So we're gonna do Bice Cognition now, although this is a bad time because we don't have any Darkness Orbs out, so I might want- I actually want to wait. Because if I'm using my bias cognition now when I don't have any orbs out, with no dark orbs out, I'm not getting any benefit from it. Like, no scaling, right? So that's a really bad first turn. Okay. That was a horrible first turn. 
Holy shit, that was a bad turn. We just lost, we just lost Echo for him. We're probably dead to this guy. That was such a bad turn. It's ridiculous. We're probably just dead to this guy, to be honest. Alright. <laughs> There's the apotheosis. Got reboot. Okay. That's not really doing much for us. Apotheosis gives me better defense. And it upgrades my hologram, which can give me... The undo. Oh, I can get undo. But then if I do undo... I'm taking damage now. Fuck it. No. Is undo worth it? So maybe we do something with reboot here. Mm, we ended up taking a lot of damage anyways, right? So I think it was better to not undo because... Well, we saved life with the undo, but if I did defend, defend, I'm saving the same amount of life that I would take from the undo. Because I would have had defend, defend, and covered all the damage. And I'm saving the same amount of life. And now Reboot makes Megaform leave again. I'm probably dead to, to this guy. We got Buffer. But that Buffer doesn't stop the... Uh, it does stop the Constrict. So we can do... Damn, see, I want to do Hologram Echo Form and then use Buffer, but then I don't have the energy for that. Huh. Huh. We need Glacier, man. There's Glacier. And Cool Headed. So I can do Glacier Buffer. Because Glacier Buffer will pre prevent the Constrict damage, and then I keep Frost Orbs. I'm, or I could do... The Frost Orbs would be good with Bias Cognition. If I can get those out. So buffer prevent, prevents his attack damage. Or I could just do like cool headed, get more frost, and try to draw into my uh bias cognition or defend. Cool headed defend. So now having three frost orbs makes bias cognition much better, right? Because then I could just do things like impulse. So I, I cover all, everything now, for the most part. And I could do multicast, or I could do like a zap impulse. Zap just to get some damage in. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep, I can do multicast just to get a uh, letter opener. Cause next turn we're gonna be getting darkness. So if we get darkness next turn, we're gonna proc the lightning. But if we do darkness next turn, we can do dual cast on lightning, which could be lethal as well. So I'm going to stop. Bias cognition with dark, so it's GG here. We get darkness, we can dual cast lightning and GG. God, dude, that was a rough fight. Sorry, guys, that was all. Well, we got another buffer, we got reprieve. So focus could be interesting, and I can I can do reprieve reliably on Dono and Deca. And if I get tons of focus, the Dark Orbs are going to be insane. You can also just do Buffer to kind of buy me more time. Because it's already upgraded. Uh, we got to try the new Reprieve, right? Because this, this has to be the clickbait. YouTube, Reprieve is broken. No, I mean, we can get Reprieve reliably on Dono Deca. But Buffer is, just buys me one whole turn against Dono Deca because it prevents both attacks. So one whole turn against Zono Deca, if I have a bad hand, this could be pretty good. I think we got to do buffer. I think we're going to rest here too. No more digging for us. Holograms again or turbo? Turbo could be really good with the multicast. That can make the lethal even crazier. But if I have turbo on a bad hand with the... Like I said, I get turbo with the curses that I have. This is another dead card that does nothing. But it's... It makes my finisher better, but by the time I'm going for the finish, I don't need turbo. So I'm skipping. Uh-oh. So this guy, we gotta get our stuff out. 
We gotta get the echo form out. So this guy could be manageable with dark orbs. I just gotta get the echo form out. We also gotta get... So I, th I feel like just rebooting right now. Maybe scrape. Because scrape could draw out the echo form. And I can hologram it, but that's bad because I don't have the energy, right? So we just do reboot here. Although, yeah, we'd rather get buffer after apotheosis. Hmm. We have two buffers in the deck, right? So we can use one now. Mm, uh, Bite Titanation is fine because it gets the dark going. It also allows me to do Cool Headed. Damn, dude. I'm taking- I don't want to proc the buffer. I don't want to proc the buffer here. So we don't proc buffer anymore. We're good. And that also brings us closer to echo form. So that's fine. Okay, we're fine. We need echo form. Where is it at? Oh my god. I'd rather save these powers for after echo form. But buffer, we'll use it now. Fine. Okay. So we have three turns. Oh, there's the echo form. Okay. So we can do dual cast now, but we'd rather just keep scaling, right? Until we get the big ol' um, multicast. Alright, we have three turns of scaling. I'm gonna wait as long as possible. I wanna use things like impulse twice to get the scaling like crazy. Hell yes. And there's a chance we can even prevent one buffer by, by doing things like uh, Impulse again, maybe? Oh, we got multi... That's not worth it. We gotta wait. We have two turns to scale up. One more turn to scale up. And then we gotta go for the kill. Ah, uh, this might be good, though. This is... 6 times 86 twice. 86 times 12. That's 800 damage plus. Oh my god, dude. Dark orbs are so good. An another buffer. Oh my god. We got impulse again. Now I feel like I'm getting a little crazy. I'm getting a little crazy with these impulses. Fuck it. So we can dig now. I mean, we can upgrade, but we have apotheosis. So let's dig. Maybe we get something crazy. We got Sundial with Reboots, nice. That can give us another impulse. <laughs> Blaster, okay, so we want to remove the curse. It's, I think the curse is more important than the Sundial. And another impulse. No, we don't need that many impulses. But it makes Dark crazy, but I think we don't need it for sure. All right. Capacitor? Get a little bit more orb slots if we're gonna be going for focus. Yeah, because if we're gonna be using multicast, we don't need three orb slots. We can get a little bit more, but that makes my makes my deck inconsistent. Yeah, I don't like it. I think I'm already making my deck inconsistent right now. Echo form. Okay, so I can hope for undo, right? I can do echo form now and hope for undo. Or I can defend. Let's do echo form. And we'll hope for undo, right? That's why we have it. If anything, we have Burfitt's Urn and we have Bloody Idol. To... So double darkness. Double FTL to draw. Double dual cast is doing 18 plus 12 block. I think double FTL. Although double darkness is not bad either. No FTL. We got buffer. Double Darkness Mode gave me dual cast, actually.
So I can do this twice. That's uh, 18 damage. Let's see what happens. I can defend one of the attacks with buffer, and I'll take it. So now we need undo for this turn. Double bias cognition. Although I should I should have done card draw. Oh, I had undo. Fuck, I had the undo. We got buffer too though, but we also had undo. Alright, let's do buffer. Ah oh, shit. That's okay. Buffer gives me healing. We're fine. This guy's dead. Then dual cast or multicast. GG. I should buffer first, right? Just to get the healing. Yeah. So multicast is gonna kill him no matter what. Like multicast for three is doing times four. Yeah, so he's dead no matter what. Let's get the healing. And now we kill him. Oh my god. Alright, we're almost full life. Another impulse. Like I said, I think this makes it inconsistent. Although an impulse could be crazy. Okay, let's draw. Got the buffer. That's not bad. Let's keep drawing. No echo form. Okay. We could skim again, but then we can't play echo form. So let's just do buffer. And do blind again. Fuck it. Double bu oh, we don't have so we can do buff we just get all our buffers out. Just get all the buffers out. There, five turns of invulnerable. While I have my darkness doing their things. But we need to get the dark out first, right? Cause there's no point in doing bicognition without dark. I'll do glacier. I had a letter opener there. There's the echo form. Okay. Now we can start doing some stuff. I don't actually want to lose. I'll lose a buffer. It's fine. Rudy roll though. Thanks for the follow, man. Oh, we don't lose buffer because of the frost. All right. So now we get the darkness. We don't get the darkness. That's unfortunate. So we'll just do zap instead. Damn, dude. See, this is bad. When you have all these strikes, we're not getting darkness. It feels bad. It feels bad. Okay, give me darkness. There's bias cognition. Where the hell is darkness, dude? So like I said, bias cognition is pointless if you don't have darkness out. We can just kill him without it, I suppose. There it is. But I don't want to play it twice. I don't want to play it twice. I guess I can go full darkness, full YOLO. I should probably defend because he's about to get rid of my buffers. It's fine, fuck it. Let's do impulses. Actually, we want to do bias cognition, right? Although, we'd rather see bias cognition for echo form, right? Alright, so now we get bias cognition, we, we have lethal. Jesus Christ. I 
I'll just do multicast on one. That's good enough. I don't actually have to get like crazy amount of darkness. Darkness is strong on its own. Uh, I'm gonna skip. Like I said, yeah, I'm skipping. I could do capacitor, but it's fine. Toolbox. Machine learning stack. Uh, stack is great, because we have a really fat deck, so that's fine. And anything that gives me defense I like. So we can upgrade or we can do dig. Let's get ice cream. Ah, uh, okay, that's not bad. Okay, first turn Apotheosis. We also got Mind Blast. I like that. We also got Bias Cognition, but we don't have anything yet. So let's do Apotheosis, get the blind going. Let's Mind Blast this dude. Let's draw. Let's do Hologram Blind again twice, so we can get the actual, get the Weaken. So now they're legit weakened, and I take one damage. Unfortunate. Actually, yeah, I take one damage. That's fine. One damage is not bad. It's not getting rid of a buffer or anything. Okay. Speaking of which, there's the buffer. But we'd rather, because we want to get the darkness going, right? We could buffer now and wait, or we could reboot and try to find Echo Form. Because this, this is the lowest time they're doing damage, so if we do reboot and get Echo Form now, it's the best time to find it. Okay, so... <laughs> I, double Bite Sunnation is fine, because that's 10 focus. It's getting my darkness scaling like crazy. Only problem is, it's... um. I'd rather get Echo Form on those, and that'd make it 20 focus. So we could skim one more time to find... Okay. Let's keep that guy weakened, although... Okay, so I guess we could do Buffer. Uh, we probably want to defend. Probably want to defend at least one hit. Now nah, we'll do buffer. We have three of them in the deck. Alright. I got some new art so it's easier to follow, yep. So we want to find Echo Form, right? Alright, so we have buffer to wait for Echo Form, and we also have impulse to get the darkness scaling. We can also defend one of the hits. Let's do buffer. I should probably zap and bring the darkness to the front. I could also just dual cast instead. Probably better than zap. I could do both. Uh, I could do double buffer right now. Because he's about to proc both of them. And if I do double buffer now, then I can get another free turn next turn to find echo form next turn when he's attacking. But I want to get the impulse going, right? So let's do impulse. So now multicast is just killing the guy in the back by itself. Multicast is still good here. Especially with impulse. Okay. So darkness is still killing this guy in the back. But I don't know if I want to waste my darkness now. Fine. Now we just have to like focus on this guy. I gotta get Echo Form. I haven't had it this whole game. I don't know where the hell it is. We can do Undo first off. Full life. There's the Echo Form. Okay, now we win. Now we can actually win the game. So we can do Echo Form and get multicast, or we can do impulses or Glacier, uh, <laughs> So I guess I get rid of my dark. I don't like that. But um, hologram could be good. We can get the stack again, All right? Hologram for stack is jeezy, jeezy, jeezy. I just said jeezy. I don't know what that means. Yeah, impulse, right? And we can do stack. Take no damage. Perfect. And we can even do defend stack. We can even no, def yeah, defend stack. No damage, and then we'll just scrape. 
Cycle the deck. Got rid of another impulse. Got rid of the multicast, which could be a good thing because I can get a hologram on it. But you'd rather get multicast with echo form. Bias cognition. So I can do two things in buffer or two bias cognition. I think we're scaling enough that we're going to kill him anyways with dark. So buffer just buys me two turns. Whereas bias cognition gives me a lot of focus. To make it... Let's just do this. So now the darkness is going to be insane. And I'm actually going to get rid of the, the lightning so when I do get anything for the dark, I can kill him easily. And now we have buffer again. And we're full life. Uh, so we, we want to get a uh, hologram for multicast. It's GG. We want impulse first. Or, or dual cast. Multicast, dual cast. GG. Alright guys, that's how you use Dark Orbs, baby. There you go, YouTube. Enjoy it. 1225. Yeah, I won a while ago. I know, it's been, it's been GG. Alright, set to 13, let's go.